Bo Polney, great to see you again. We have a lot to talk about today. Yes, absolutely. And like we were saying, a little pre-interview was just, it's so enjoyable to speak with you because, you know, of all the people I interview, there's a few that are always happy and smiling and you are top of the food chain. So what a pleasure to be here with you. I, yeah, I, I don't really work. I mean, what I do, I enjoy. So if that's a blessed thing, I'm sure you feel the same way. You don't feel like you're getting, oh, I got to work. You just, you've got all this information. You want to share it with people. So exactly it. You know, it's just like you get, you get pieces of a puzzle and you keep putting it together. And, and all I know is that like, I just love what I do. And I love getting this information out to people because it just, it's incredible how when you start putting pieces together, how you realize, you know, it's, it's a, it's a masterpiece that's coming together and it's, yeah. and yes, it looks scary, but things are supposed to at, at times and other times things are supposed to look awesome and incredibly wonderful. Um, so, you know, it's just a matter of just, you know, from, from a biblical perspective, I'm just trying to discern the times of what's going on in the world. And oh yeah, we are at, <laughs> well, some wild times here. You and I are in the same business. That is forecasting events. Yeah. Uh, we're we're future forecasting. Your gold twenty twenty forecast. And um, do you you can just feel? So, we put out a segment that there are probably momentous events coming, and we've been getting confirmation from people around the world, psychics, uh, people that just follow trends people that um analyze information what what are you getting what do you see and, and i know you wanted to do this segment sooner rather than later because we want to get this on the record so what are you seeing here and we're recording this on monday is today the 18th of september or the 19th yeah yeah it's the 18th already so we're okay we're rushing into the end of the week um you know it being monday um again you know see we're at a point in time what I would characterize as no one really knows, no one knows how this is going to go down. And the reason is because, you know, from a, even from a biblical perspective, right, there is times in the Bible, and, you know, the, the one that I can reference specifically is what happened at the Red Sea. Like, even today, you can still go back, you know, there, there are chariots at the bottom of the Red Sea. So the event happened, whether people want to deny it or not, it happened. And so the point of that event was, all the things that led up to it. So you've had, you know, you, so you, Moses basically was, you know, from first off, he's in the river uh, as a child. And then, you know, then he ends up being taken by, you know, the Pharaoh and he ends up being brought up, as, you know, within the, 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 the kingdom over there of, of Pharaoh. And then only to find out he's a Jew. And then he goes against, you know, the, the Pharaohs. Uh, and then he goes to Mount Sinai. It's like this whole long story. And then he finally comes back to Pharaoh and he gives gives what? It says he, 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 he's instructed to go to Pharaoh and says, let my people go. Well, does that sound kind of like familiar what's going on in the world right now? You know, you have this uh, satanic there's a system in the world right now of oppression and control of humanity. So it's very interesting because if, you know, Ecclesiastes states, you know, that which has been will be again. So what I'm stating is, you know, events of old are manifesting here again. The only difference is different characters different timeline you know this is thousands of years later but the essence of what happened then is, appears to be happening now because what happened then moses goes there and he brings upon 10 plagues but it wasn't moses you know these 10 plagues that hit egypt were by the hand of god the bottom line was you know um, moses was the you know orchestrator of these events on the earth via god but it all came down to pharaoh and there's pharaoh's of now, which are present day pharaohs. So the pharaohs of now, the so these are like the globalists, you know, the global elite. Yeah. They don't want to release humanity from their chains. And so, what did Pharaoh say? You know, let my people go, so they so they can go in the wilderness and, and worship God. But Pharaoh, after nine plagues that came upon him, refused, refused. And so it was the tenth plague that. Came, but it was by the word of, of Pharaoh himself. He wanted to kill Moses' son. Instead, God turned the tables on him. And what happened? The angel of death showed up and he killed, and, and the angel of death destroyed Pharaoh's firstborn, his most prized possession, and all of Egypt's firstborn children and animals. So the end, and then finally on that 10th event, Pharaoh 
who refused, this is the key part, he refused to let any of Israel go because he thought he was God on earth. Sound familiar? And then finally, after he lost his prized possession, his son, and he realized that there is a power mightier than him, he finally let Israel go from bondage. And so what I'm trying to illustrate is no different than what you're seeing in the world right now. You see this corrupt system, no matter where you look, it's full-on captured control corrupt, and they're doing what? They're, they don't want to give up their prized possession, which is control of humanity. Yeah, it, It's corrupt on every level, and it's being revealed as being corrupt on every level. I mean, yeah. it's just, just down. And, and I think we've just begun to see the the revelation of the of the corruption yeah so so that's one of the thing is i've listened to a few of your podcasts of past you know i listen to you know a few people that you interview with sometimes you know and so there's three ways of looking at this you know there's 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 three perspectives that people are, are going to be on one so the, the, the first option which which where I, where I sit is that there is a god okay so there is a being and specifically he has a son jesus christ and he is lord and savior of the world mm -hmm. and so that's my perspective and jesus came to the earth he fulfilled scriptural and biblical prophecy he's, he fulfilled isaiah 53 and he's returning in the future and those were that's the that's the prophecy that's been written and in and in, in that process we're going to step in through what's called revelation which ultimately the back end of revelation is the return of christ so that's option 1 the other option is, and again, no, this is not picking on anybody. This is simply saying there's three choices. The other option, which is probably majority of the world, they're sitting on a fence. So is that real or is it made up? You know, is the Bible fake? So there's there's the people sitting on the fence, and that's the majority of the world because what? Satan's a deceiver, and what he's done, he's deceived humanity into believing that he always puts a question mark. You know, was there, a, was there um, a, you know, Noah's Ark? You know, it's like, was it there? You know, when in the Garden of Eden, what did what was the great deception? Because this is about free will, right? So the, the story of the Bible is Jesus, God made Adam and Eve in his image. And then what ended up happening in the garden? Then what did evil say to them? Did God really say that? Yeah. See, did God really say that? Right? But if you eat from the tree, you'll be made in God's image. So they ate of the tree of knowledge and end up being, they end up falling because if they understood, they were already made in the image of God. So the point was, it was a deception. So everything going on in the world is you know, like, you're always seeing like, is, is evil real? People are willing to acknowledge that evil is real. But the the problem is, is that, you know, very few want to admit that they're, that God is real. But, you know, a coin has two sides. You've got night and you got day. You know, there's just two polar opposites and that's what's going on in the world. So not to tell anybody what to do, because this is about free will. People have the right and choice to choose. So the majority of people of the world are on that fence because they're like i just don't know right and so there's you know so there's those those that wake up and they're like god is real jesus is real this whole thing is true majority of the world sits on the fence and then there's you know a, a chunk of you know good size of humanity sits on the other side and those are you know the ones that there is no god they're you know atheists and and and, and again there I, i'm not judging anybody i'm saying that there's three in the world choices and so we're coming up to this moment in time where something is about to blow and so if the story of moses was true and the red sea parted if imagine being there dick like imagine standing there thinking we're done we're finished there's no way out because they're pinned up against the red sea you got pharaoh coming at him with 600 chariots the whole army they're, they're dead there's nowhere to go all of a sudden the sea parts how did that happen? You see, so that what so what happens is at some point, there's points in time that I think you might appreciate. There's points in time where God reveals himself. So he sits and he watches divine intervention out of divine, the blue. Exactly. So divine intervention. That's a great way of putting it. So at some points in time, there's divine intervention. And and then at that moment in time, people who are on the fence, and even ones on the other side. But on the fence, have a cho have a ability to make a decision, and so that's a, like you know, so you, you know that Pastor Pawlowski that was in Canada, 
that basically two years ago they tried to shut down his church and he called them Nazis. Get out of here, Nazis. So he's, oh, a, he's yeah, a good he, friend he, of mine. Uh, he wouldn't uh, acquiesce to the lockdown. COVID yeah. So, yeah. So, so think about this, right? He won't not, not acquiescing. And they literally like they made such an example of him that you really have to question, wait a second, why was it such a horrendous example? He literally leaves a bunch of cop cars surround him on the freeway. They mm-hmm. handcuff him, drag him, like and all because he called them Nazis. You see what I'm saying? And and because he preaches, preaches the word. So the question is, why was the response so intense? And they're still attacking him to this very day. But the reason I bring him up is because God gave him a vision. Of what I described, and there's he he looked at the world and he saw this fence that went on to like as far as you could see it, and there was no end to that fence. And all you saw on that fence was people sitting on it. Yeah. And at the and and then he saw two hands come up, which are the hands of God, and the and that fence shook so intensely. And it kept shaking and shaking that by the time the fence was done shaking, there was no one left sitting on the fence. In other words, the group of majority, the ones presently on sitting on the fence, are either left or right. And so, so that's kind of how I want to kind of maybe start this, and then we can kind of you know talk further. But the point is, it just at some point in time, um, that's why I believe after you know I think you did a, a podcast and saying there's something will be coming up in, in April or something before then, and and. and the reason that probably nobody can see the events that are the event that's coming, whether it's this year and the next year, because it's it's at that moment in time where no one in Israel at the Red Sea, nobody knew that the Red Sea would part. And the reason being is very simple, because if even one prophet or somebody knew or a psychic or somebody knew that that Red Sea would part, Pharaoh would not have gone in. And his whole army and himself would not have been destroyed. So that was the called the kill shot of divine intervention. Mm. So, so it's your view that we have big events coming, but they're ultimately going to be for the good. Is that yes? The thing to say? That that's basically the way a good way of describing it because if, if you look at what's gone because evils had a window so you know we we did a podcast I think it was in in uh, was uh, in, in About July six months maybe? ago no well, well no well July or uh, or June or July I think we did it in or whatever it wasn't yeah, that okay. long ago a few months ago we, we did a few months ago yeah. and we were talking about you know the the specifically we did the time calculations and and if I can maybe pull that slide up but the time calculations were rather interesting because again I'm just see I don't know what's going to happen but uh, but within the if you study within the Bible there are time points within the Bible that, that you can study and you can make sense of hey these are important dates and and that's the best i can say these are important dates but then it's it's crazy because when i start doing these important dates it's like oh on these important dates um oil went to negative 38 dollars a barrel oh the stock market crashed 38 percent. oh ginsburg died oh the george floyd riots broke out well, oh so so all of these important dates you have these huge events happening and so we got some very we got some we got some coming <laughs> so well i remember <laughs> talking with you in the lobby of the Litecoin conference in Las Vegas in October, 2019. And you said, Dick, there's there's something big coming right after the new year. It's coming. And that was COVID. We didn't know what. And and I didn't know what it was, but what did I do? And this is very simple back to our, the start of our conversation, which uh, again, I just want to give people an understanding, you know, yourself and everybody that, you know, to, to, to really kind of think about things, because again, Everybody has free will. Everybody has a right to choose whatever they want. Like when you wake up in the morning, you can smile or not, right? You can have a good day or not have a good day. All these things are are free will choices. But at the same time, too, um, you know, there's a saying, you know, you always see uh, you always see the devil in the details, right? You mm-hmm. can also see good in the details. You can see both in the details. And so what I want to show you is this. It was interesting because this is from those that have our last podcast. I think this was maybe three months ago, maybe four months ago. But we talked specifically about how e- evil and good have a window of time. So, you know, you've got it will be. So when Jesus started his ministry, he got baptized and his ministry was for three and a half years and he died on the cross. You know, this these are scriptural time windows that are in within the Bible. And so Corona comes on the scene and it's interesting because it comes on a scene in 
January 12th, the first diagnosed case. And then you run 1260 days, it takes you to, to the summer solstice. You know, and so I'm going, well, okay, that's interesting. There's a 45 day window within the calculation, which takes us to August 8th through the 9th. Interesting, because when you look at the cycle calculations, uh, specifically on the summer solstice is when this text came out. And it's basically it's Joe Biden is finally linked to China through the texting of his where it's the text says I'm sitting here with my father when they're doing the shakedown on China. So it's a, and then I said basically this isn't it's, it's it's fun to look at backwards because I said right after that you're going to find out that that text is going to be the fall of the Biden regime. And what happened just last week? You got McCarthy basically saying we're now they're, they're starting the impeachment proceedings on China um, on Biden because of his business dealings. Yeah. It's it's well, a matter of time. So it has yes. been a very eventful summer. August, yes. it's ramping up. Well, and then yeah. and then look at this, right? So you've got on the eighth into the ninth. This is when the uh, what happened? You know, you're you're in Hawaii. This 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 happened in your neck of the woods on the calculation right here. So we've got August eighth through 9th. So it usually happens uh, the the eve the the, the eve of. And so look what happened with the, with the fires in Maui. It happened precisely on that time point. And the crazy part is this is that song that came out, The Rich Men from Richmond. I just find yeah. the whole title fascinating, you know, Rich Men from Richmond. And the, the guy that basically wrote it is a nobody. And there's a scripture based on Matthew 20, verse 16. It says, the last will become first. Well, he became the first in the world to ever write a song to go number one on the charts in 24 hours. <laughs> Never happened before, but it did. Right. And this is basically foreshadowing, you know, the 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 the, the, the first who are the rich men now be, are be going to become last so it just it's interesting how when you when you start doing the math calculations a lot of things start to really make you go you know not saying things that make you go hmm interesting there there's been a lot going on that's interesting how you tie that all together and now we've had after the maui fire we had the morocco earthquake and the libya flood so fire flood earthquake um, someone described it to me, Take your time. when you're bringing a building down, you don't just bring the wrecking ball and hit the building. It, it won't fall. You need to drill small holes at key points. And then when you hit it with a wrecking ball, then it will fall. And what we're seeing, according to my sources, is these pressure points are being drilled into Maui. Morocco, Libya, one after another, after another, these uh, natural disasters. So, um, yeah, something we did a remote viewing and we were I still don't know what the real target was. They, they gave us a target that we probably was financial or cryptocurrency related, something maybe to do with the regulations, a pretty um not a high impact target. It would be more of a political, I think more of a political decision or or a geopolitical uh, financial maneuvering. And all the viewers came back with explosions and drama and huge events. And so without telling us, they said, well, they're off. So they retasked it. And so we are given a new tasking, double blind. And we came back with explosions and drama and you know human uh you know refugees and what we described seems to be at least two separate events um with political theater surrounding it and high energy explosive stuff that might rival 9-11 so that came up out of the blue it's like uh consciousness was telling us look at this look at this so what do you see coming, Bo? Well, several things. First off, you know, so I like to look at scripture. I like to also compare with prophetic words. And, and you, when you put the pieces together, you know, you might you start seeing like a picture sometimes come together. So it, it's, it's interesting. I can, there's a prophetic word of uh, Kim Clement. Uh, and I can share this uh, the screen with you here. And you'll, you'll find this fascinating because this was from, I believe the prophecy was from 2014. Because you mentioned, you know, eruptions, but basically the prophecy was summer will be the mediator between spring and fall so the fall can do its work in America. So the summer was supposed to bring several things. So as it started on the summer solstice, and that's when the text came out linking a hunter to his dad, okay, we're supposed to see 
earthquakes and volcanoes, called the two E's, earthquakes and eruptions. Well, we're starting to see that quite a bit right now. That's been ramping up quite a bit in the past week, uh, two weeks. So, you know, we've seen that. Um, it was the halfway point starting to uncover a, a great evil. So we're starting to see the uncovering of evil, but we're still in summer because that goes until the 23rd of September, which is what, this Friday, right? Or this this Saturday. So let, it's let, let me interrupt you because I, I yeah. wasn't exactly following these bullet points. What was the generation of how were these generated? Was this biblical so, or was Yeah, it... it's it's a prophecy. Today I will expose, I will reveal, for you have entered into a time and a season of undercover. Where I will bring out from the covers the truth. For there have been too many lies, one lie after the other covered in high national positions. There are two E's that I see. One E is the word erupt. The other is earthquake. A volcano as a sign. And then there will be another earthquake, says the Lord. Keep your eyes open. For this sign is to cause the earth to yield of its produce. I will release that which has been held back from you and cause triumph to be sounded in your mouths, says the Lord. Summer. Summer. Reaches. To spring. to fall. I will be the mediator, says Summer. I will uncover. Yet beneath the earth, there is a rage. Eruptions, Summer says, why choose they me? Why do the tornadoes, the hurricanes choose me? I am summer. I bring smiles. I bring sunshine. I bring warmth. Yet there is a tumultuous rendering that is coming. I stand to protect spring, but fall, you are rebelling. Or is it that possibly the Spirit of God will cause many to fall in fall? Then there is the earth that wishes to tremble. Shake! For the nations of the earth stand waiting. However, there is an uncovering of great evil. And I will start from the top. I have shaken the Democrats and will shake the Republicans even more. But remember when these tremors and when these tumultuous moments happen, Summer says, I will take it so that the fall can do its work in America. Summer, take it. For thus says the Lord, I will prosper my people. And during the fall, there shall be many that shall fall. And many that shall rise from the dust. For the summer shall bring forth much in the temperatures. Strange July, strange July. Hypnotic November. And oh Christmas, where winter shall say, and me, I will make them happy. For God says, I have chosen each season to manifest something. And it shall come to pass that I shall bring sign after sign. And in the fall, that which comes down is that which was able to be shaken. It's a prophecy from Kim Clement. 
that was prophesied in the year 2014. This was a guy that in 2007 said Trump will be, uh, he was the first guy ever uh, on this planet. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Okay, I got it. Trump, got it. Trump okay. would be president and he would yeah. have two terms. Everybody assumed that that would be, uh, you know, a consecutive, but that yeah. was never stated. So he was the first one to ever state that. And then it, and then it happened. Uh, and his prophetic words have been like next to none. It's just, and he, and, and again, this is not a psych psychic ability because he always professed that God would speak to him. And, and so, you know, th this is, and God specifically cannot and does not lie. So everything that when, when, when he speak, when he was speaking again, you know, a prophet is two choice. One thing when you're just talking to him is one thing, but when this, but when he's speaking prophetically because the spirit's upon him, then it's then it's the word of then it's the specifically the word of God. And his words were there summer would bring two E's, so earthquakes and eruptions. Well, we're definitely starting to see that right now, where we're seeing that. Uh evil will start to be uncovered. <clears throat> we would have uh the hottest summer. Well, is this has been the hottest summer since 1880 in the United States. So you can Google that. It's the hottest summer since 1880. And then we're supposed to have a strange July. Well, look what happened with uh, the uh, alien. Uh, um, they revealed the aliens in Congress. Okay. So we're seeing all of these things manifest. We just haven't seen uh, a massive volcano. And the other prophecy was, is going to be, he says a volcano as a sign. We're supposed to see a big volcano pop off. So, you know, could we see a big volcano pop off between now and Saturday? I don't know. Well, but I, I find the whole thing really interesting. just erupted on uh, the Big Island, and yeah. uh, there was one going off in Mexico. It wasn't explosive, but there there been a there been a couple volcanoes in the news in uh, since July. Yes, yeah, yeah, and so I, I know that is a fact. I'm just wa I'm waiting to watch to see if if a really big one um, goes off, and so will it? Well, you know, I don't know. I'm just all we can do is wait and watch. Yeah. But then all of these events then lead into a fall, and the words were where the fall will will the fall can do its work in America, which means that the fall of the cabal. So these people will not be so will not be able to stop basically what's what's coming and then there's another prophet there's actually i wanted to play this for you here because i think you this is so that prophet kim clement also stated this here and i think you're going to appreciate this uh about what could happen here because we're we're at the the 18th of september right now and so i think it's worth playing this prophetic word this prophecy right here um because will it happen again no one knows but i'm just i'm just gonna play this part for you right here this is forecasting fall of 2023. September. Which, September. Yeah. Yeah. So all officially words, starts when in a uh, later uh September this week? 20 September 23rd, this this yeah. uh, Saturday, I guess, Saturday, Sunday. So I'll play this for you here. And again, you know, just let's just get your thoughts and, and just you know, I just again, this was the same guy that, that prophesied that Trump would be uh president, you know. So let's uh, let me hear him let me play this for you here. Share. And here we go. Watch and see, for God says beginning in September, I will turn everything around and my people shall see an intervention of a kind that they have never seen before. So this this was from years ago. He, uh, you know, no one ever knew the year that this was supposed to happen. So it, be, it was stating that, you know, in September, there's going to be an intervention of a kind the world has never seen before so if if this is that divine intervention that we spoke about then that will be a moment in time where the tables start to turn on them and they begin to lose control and then that leads us into uh you know fall where we're heading into october you know that movie hunt for red october it's mm -hmm. interesting but you know the, these are people that run the world they're masons right 33 degree uh that movie came out hunt for red october is 33 years ago this year it's been 33 years now. Yep. yep. Wow. Yeah, movie's 33 years for Hunt. Hunt that's for a Hunt. that's a very significant number. 33. Yeah. 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 So it so no one knows how this is all going to go down because again, like when he says when the you know, prophet was saying, you know, the, there's an intervention of a kind the world has never seen before. See, again, no one knows what it's going to be, but it's spoken that it's supposed to happen in the month of September. Is it next year? It could be, but I really don't think so because I'm looking at um, also precious metal charts, uh, you know, historic cycles versus present day cycles, and I see something uh, something developing as um, we head into the end of this month. 
and then as we head into October. So we're supposed to see if the chart is right that I'm looking at, I believe it is, um, a, a, where metals break away from price control. And if that should happen, remember, the last thing in the world that they ever would want would be metals to break away from price controls, because how do they control everybody with the money that they create out of thin air? So we wait and watch. But as we watch September end, something is supposed to manifest where they are going to quickly and suddenly lose control of, of precious metals and they start to break free. And you know that will be horrific for them yeah. because because they want their money system to be the money system, not not a gold back or even and also that cycle ties in directly with cryptocurrencies. Okay, so cryptocurrencies are about to leap vertical as September's ending, or it, it, let's say even yeah. into early October. But we're supposed to see some fireworks to the upside, and the only way that would happen would be a loss of confidence or an event upon the U.S. dollar. I just interviewed a guy that's down. His name is Gus De Demos. Um, he's with Perpetual Assets. They're the guys that do self-directed IRAs. So you can buy precious metals through a uh, tax-deferred uh, IRA. N nice guy. I, I bought cryptos from him. So he's down in, Aus in uh, Argentina, and suggested that we could do an interesting interview. And I just talked to him. And this is not, we just don't get international news anymore in America. He said, he's down there on the ground. The Argentine peso used to be five to one. It would take five pesos to uh, for one US dollar. It okay. now is 720. So they are going through some serious hyperinflation. He said he went in, he was staying in a nice hotel and goes to like a Rolex shop, a watch shop next door. Mm -hmm. They won't sell you a Rolex for Argentine pesos. They won't sell you one on credit card. They won't take a credit card, only US dollar. So I think what, what we may be seeing is the final blow off of the US dollars. People around the world, it's like, all the currencies are are squeezing and inflating and people are going into the final lifeboat, which is the U.S. dollar. But that's going to sink, too, because they're inflating the hell out of it. So, yeah, metals and cryptos. Metals. Yep, I had a gentleman I did an interview with just last week and he said he went to Mexico uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, and the banks would not take the U.S. dollar there. So I don't know how true that was. Uh, so it just or, or the vendors were not taking the U.S. dollar there anymore in, in Mexico. Some of these if countries the banks, may yeah, be going it, to the to, to the BRICS because yeah. BRICS is um, if they come out with a currency that's backed by gold, I think a lot of countries are going to rush to that and leave the dollar be, and then all those dollars will come home. Then we're gonna that that would be your parabolic metals and crypto run right there. Right. Yeah. And um, and and again, whatever happens here. Um, and the precious metals, if something does go down as September ends into October, um, that's only the start. You see, the excitement comes in November. So November is supposed to be truly spectacular with regards to precious metal movements and gold and silver. Uh, and it's interesting, again, and the reason I always use the word interesting, because, uh, again, when, you know, when, you, when I study uh, timelines, um, I've had I've done a calculation like this is a few years ago, and it was on on the presidency cycle, and it was the one I'm going to try to find it here. But that presidency cycle basically indicated that a lot's supposed to manifest. If I can find that chart here, um, so when when Trump took office, all I know is that when I started calculating time, because I ran the same cycle like on Obama, for example. So when Obama gets a no Nobel Peace Prize. The thing that really confused me, I'm like, why did he get a Nobel Peace Prize? Like, like what? <laughs> for what? You, what like, for do? what, right? So I'm yeah. like, that's got to be, you know, as they say, it's got to be a sign, right? So then I ran the Daniel cycle, which, remember, it, says, it will be for time, times, and a half a time. So I ran that cycle for 1,260 days, and to the exact day, from 1,260 days when he got the Peace Prize, he literally lands in Israel. Hmm. 
So again, see, um, evil likes to mock God and Jesus, right? So, so he literally came into Israel and he was on Israel on March 22nd, their skull and bones number to the exact day. Hmm. And yeah, they, they don't do anything by chance. Right. There's symbology, so the there's numerology, there's there's cycles that they're they're very aware of that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So so you know, they try to steal time, they try to steal biblical time. So it's just interesting that you know, you've got Obama literally going to um on Israel 322, 1260 days backwards, he got the Nobel Peace Prize. Talk about crazy math, but it happened, right? And then you do another 1260 days forward, and he's on Mount Olympus. Well, you know, if you study, you know, the, the, the study, there's the ancient gods. Okay, these are not gods, they're fallen angels. And so the point being is he goes to Mount Olympus to visit his buddy Zeus, you know, which is, you know, from a biblical perspective yeah. would be would be the demonic, right? So he's at Mount Olympus and, and is seeing Zeus. 1260 days exactly from when he... Yeah, from when he walks into Israel. So just I just find that fascinating. Yeah. It's a pure coincidence, right? <laughs> so that kind of got me started on that journey of studying the studying the, the president cycle, right? So like okay, what so why did I do that, Bill? Because once I discovered that, I'm like, well, wait a second. So, so what I did was I ran the cycle on Trump. I'm like, okay, well, that's interesting. So uh he wins the election November uh eighth of twenty sixteen. 1260 days to the exact day, oil goes to negative thirty-eight dollars a barrel. It did. And then from that day forward, you got 30 day. There's a 30 day window on that exact day. The Edenville Dam broke in the township of Hope, Michigan. Then you're on a 40 day cycle, which is when the George Floyd riots began. And then you got the rioting go across the world. From oil going to zero, you run 1260 days, November 2nd of this year. 45 day window takes us into December 17th. What I'm saying is that it's a very, very important, the first week of November. Where, where do you think oil will be first week of December? It's going to oh, be I, I, I have no idea what oil, I don't watch oil at all, what it's, you know, what it's going to do. But I do know that I watch Precious Metals and I'm just like, fasten your seatbelt yeah. and cryptocurrencies. Okay. So the, and, and I'm not saying November 2nd, I'm saying as November begins, I'm not going to give away the you know, exact time what's going to happen here, but I'll give it to you off, off air a little bit. There's supposed to be, uh, but again, very early part of November, we're supposed to see something historic develop in precious metals, cryptocurrencies. So my question would be, what happened? Because if if crypto, Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies leap vertical, like you can't imagine with precious metals, what happened to the opposite trade, the U.S. dollar? So as, as awesome as events are supposed to start, in uh, you know and potentially end of this month yeah. into october that's just a foreshadowing of what's coming into in, in the month of november our technical analyst marty hibbs who's very good he's hedging his bets but he's very good he says it is very possible that we could see a blow off top in the dollar you'd see the dollar um continue to go up 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 over the next six weeks or so Hit a blow off top, and then it's all she wrote. So the timing, timing's similar. And see, and I'm not really watching the dollar that closely. I'm just watching my 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 chart patterns uh, and and counting counting time on precious metals. And my point I'm trying to you know make is that something's uh, afoot, and I, and I do believe that is there's going to be like that you know uh, again that prov that word I just showed you about you know and in September um, an event is you know that world is never not expecting a divine you know e intervention. Mm -hmm. Then if that's something that would happen, then that would move outside of any of the charts and you would just see a sudden collapse. I would say, based on my charts, there's two time points that I think you might be interested in. The first being as September ends into October, right? And potentially maybe around the 24th, 25th of this month would be correlating, would be because you, you had that picture you drew um, a few years ago. Of of how you know people walking out of Congress, throwing up, all these things happening. Yeah. So that could go down potentially starting as early as the end of this month. And that the other and option that, would be that target November. was the death of the dollar. Like yeah, yeah. So yeah. I and I would highly and I would more likely expect that event to be in November. So 
something's about to go down here um and and it's, it's just going to fulfill things that you've seen and the reason yeah. you see these things is because there is a future see like the reason i can predict precious metal movement or like cryptocurrencies like last year or two years last year i think there's like had 28 turns i think we had 25 mm -hmm. of them to the exact day um for a whole year it was crazy I, you know there's and the uh, other ones are off just by by a few few days but that's insanity to be able to do that kind of stuff but the only reason i did it was because i saw the, the future cycles and i could predict in advance when things would turn and so what i'm saying is the reason you can draw pictures out in the future you know this to be true is because the future is there yeah you just no, most people can't see it right and most but that's why you can draw a picture of the future because it's there you just have to be able to get there to draw it out and then as many pictures as you draw you you get more targets you can draw more pictures yeah. but at some point there's a picture you can't draw and that's the divine intervention moment makes sense it like you talked about the three views of the world there's there's a view that i guess some people have and i i really would love to try to have an intelligent conversation with someone who believes and i saw like a pbs science documentary years ago and i remember just thinking really and what they what their explanation for how life began on earth was you had um simple organic simple chemical compounds that somehow became more complex and then you had a primordial muck and then it got hit by lightning or light or something and then it be it it created an organic compound that created a cell and these cells became ever more complex and we sprang from that and our life and consciousness came from just primordial ooze and I'm like, really? Do people believe that, that that that's a story they they're buying into? Where'd the lightning come from to to, to strike that? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Where the lightning come, like? And it's just the point is, it's just they're trying to do it. It's just like the, the Big Bang theory. Okay, well, what created the Big Bang? Yeah, like yeah. what created the Big Bang? So so the point is, it's just a evil is operating in the details. And when you study the details close enough, you'll see them. You also you study details close enough, like I'm showing you the calculations. You can read a hundred different versions of the Bible. You'll say, "Oh, the Bible. I don't read the Bible because there's different versions of it. Who knows what's real yeah. anymore?" But the, every hundred versions, you know, will say in the, all of those hundred versions, it'll say it rained for forty days and forty nights. It doesn't matter what version of it. So I'm mm -hmm. just showing you how math you can it supersedes all of the word, verbiage of words, you can just study the time windows and I'm trying to show you. And, and it's interesting how all these time windows are pointing, you know, just they point to things. And then you see things manifest on these uh, in, important time points. So all I know is that, you know, I, I know things are coming and, and I know in my heart that you are going to be proven correct. And some of the things you've, many of the things you've seen, I know for a fact that, you know, that what I'm saying about precious metals uh, being the ultimate money is going to happen. We're going to see the financial system, like you know as well, to yeah. completely change. And the way people will be transacting in the future will be using digital currency. Why? Because people are going to do a work around the Fed. The Fed will become unimportant and people are going to be starting transacting off of their phones, sending transactions to one another to pay for things. That's just what's coming. Yeah. And everything until that workout point, until they lose control, they're going to keep telling you that precious metals are nothing but a rock and cryptocurrencies are used for money laundering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Bo, what are you what are you doing to prepare? Obviously, you're preparing by getting right with God. I, that goes without saying. But what are you doing on a physical level to prepare? How are you are you changing anything about your daily life? Are you stocking food, uh, stocking silver? What what do you do? What is your your advice? Well, I would say this. Um, actually, if you want to, this is something that I put together. I kind of put together a compilation of all the d data that I got about a page I can read here for you, but that'll give you a sure. kind of an understanding. So uh, while everyone is thinking all is well, like right here, hey, it's all well. You Things know, are great. Everything's are great. Nothing. Nothing worries. <laughs> there's there's <laughs> nothing going on. An event is coming, and this is what you're seeing. You know, and you're seeing an event coming. An event is coming that will cause the ground to shake, volcanoes to erupt, to erupt, and markets to collapse. 
Markets to collapse, yeah. It is coming and cannot be stopped. So, see, like, like the Red Sea. Pharaoh didn't know that he was walking into the greatest trap in, in history, and he walked right in, and he was destroyed. And so they cannot stop what's coming, regardless of everything they're trying to do right now. So this wild beast, this evil empire is pinned up against a corner, but they're coming in with all guns blazing because they cannot go down, because they cannot reveal what, you know, what they've done. And so continuing in the coming. So we're now in what's called biblical time, you know, God's time to call the 10 days of all, which began on September 6th, uh, 15th. God will make his final decision about our new year that begins in January 2024. As this is right now, this is the year of Jubilee, which began on Rosh Hashanah, which in September of 2022, so last year, beginning in January 2024, the evil ones that um, will no longer be in control of America as their financial system will have crumbled. America is about to fall and suffer for a season for its rebellion against God. Buckle your seatbelts for what is about to go down. The world, the world as we know it is about to come to an end, and a new era is about to be birthed. This birth will cause the rug to be pulled out from underneath the elite, and everything they have built will fall. Their time is up, and all their perversions are about to be revealed. They will lose their grip and control of humanity as their dollar crumbles and America witnesses a crash of biblical proportions that forces the elite to return everything they have stolen. This will be the greatest financial event in human history. In the Bible, this is the third seal of Revelation. As God's money, which is gold and silver, began to glitter. And that also includes cryptocurrencies, okay? So they're tied, they're tied right in with that because they're able to be used for distance transactions. We are about to be freed from the bondage of global elites and their plans will crash with their economy into year end. Since Nixon took us off the gold standard in 71, the value of everything has become meaningless and has become blatantly obvious these past few years. The current financial system is now worthless. Thus, the stock market, too, is worthless as it is backed by nothing but lies, as is the money supply, their dollar, the Federal Reserve note. This dollar-based financial system is built on sand, and the world is about to find out that the bond markets, the stock markets, and the real estate markets will collapse beginning this fall and continuing into the summer of next year, 2024. This will be the worst crash in history of the of the world. This will, there will be panic, fear, and shock. Rioting will break out in reaction, and martial law will be declared. The crash is imminent and will follow an event that will that many will suffer loss, great loss. Now is a time of final preparation to store up some extra food, water, and just extras as the shelves will even go bare. America will fall for a season as it is chastised by the Lord for its sins. They will want to blame 45, but it will not work. This crash will be a near-death experience, and then America will come back to life for a season. This crash will stop all the foolishness going on in the world right now and create a window of divine favor, a final window of opportunity to prepare, a time to move basically out of the cities, as we, there's the thing in the Bible called tribulation, and then tribulation is what's going to come in the future, where things, um, where the evil regime surfaces again, and this time it's going to be um, what's written in the Bible is is the Antichrist kingdom is going to come upon the earth in the future. So that hopefully that kind of gives you an understanding. Yeah. I'll add something to that, and I I think that they won't let the financial collapse happen and be blamed for it they will there will be something that will precipitate it that they can say oh well it was the fake asteroid that hit or it was the somebody set off the nuclear bomb or the tsunami that wiped out the east coast that they'll they need a precipitating event to blame it so oh yeah i'm yeah. not i'm not doubting that at all um but this is the thing so when there's divine intervention, see, like what ends up happening is that there's going to be some some event, and and this is kind of where where God, when He reveals Himself again, I don't know. I'm just talking out loud, but a divine intervention would be typically, well, very very simply, signs, miracles, and wonders. 
And so a miracle is something that you can't explain or, mm -hmm. or talk your way out of. So people will be seeing things that cannot be explained, if that makes sense. So there's, there are just events that happen in the world that you can't say, oh, you know, uh, that was whatever. They're yeah. going to be of such dramatic magnitude that are like, that doesn't happen. Events like this don't go down. And that also, you know, is, is coupled with uh, a prophetic word, you know, that I basically heard from one of the prophets as well, too. And actually, I'll, I'll play this for you as well, because this is, I think you'll find interesting, because I know you were talking uh, in one of your podcasts about April. And so last year, 2022, uh, on in April of 2022, uh, there's a prophet, Amanda Grace, uh, that did a prophetic word or did a, did a prophecy or she actually, I was in the audience and mm -hmm. we always had the reawaken America tour. And so I was in the audience and actually had my phone. So there's audios from my phone and she's uh, on stage and, uh, and the Holy ghost came upon her and she basically spoke these words. And, you'll, you'll... and I, the Lord, thy God am taking the sword of the spirit, the word of God, which is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And I am striking that web and I am striking what they wove and you shall see says the Lord thy God this day you shall see the first major strike come in the month of April you shall see another soon follow after that so the first strike biblical strike by the hand of God is expected in the month of April and this was from last year prophecy and then another one shortly thereafter that Hmm. But all we April, can do, April 2024, yeah. The prophecy was basically given, uh, when there, God did not give a year, just like when Kim Clement spoke, right? Kim yeah. Clement didn't give a year. So this was like nine years ago that season's prophecy went through. And everybody's like, oh, it's this year, it's this year. So it's never happened. But for the first time, that season's prophecy about fall, spring, and, and winter, that prophecy is now nine years old. And for the first time in history, we've actually seen the events of summer manifest. We just haven't seen a big volcano yet, but we still have a week. Yeah. But we've seen a volcanoes, already small ones, and we've seen earthquakes going off. So I'm just trying to put pieces together. Um, and all I know is that something is still expected. And, and so we have to wait and watch and see how this how this all plays out yeah but I, I i find it really interesting you know listening to some of the things that you're seeing as well um and then that one picture that you drew is still it, it hasn't happened yet you know where the, where congress comes out and where they come out there in the hallway and they're just sick to their stomach they're bent over and they can't believe it like disbelief shock yeah yeah. We're waiting, you know, for that. And, and and you've had some big hits, you know. I think you were talking earlier that you know you you prophet, you know that you basically see you drew out the the, the event in Maui. You know, I think you draw. You know, what, what are yeah. some of the big hits that you've um, had recently, just to kind of add you know depth to everything we talked about here? What we feel is that um, there is a, and we're probably trying to give this a more scientific definition, but that there is a consciousness is a dimension and that we as beings live in that dimension of consciousness where all information is you would call it the god consciousness um we the u.s military who developed remote viewing didn't didn't put it in that terms but i i think we probably because would. because th there's there's a there's a layer that you don't see in the world right and that's that's yeah. that where that's where good and evil operate and they're they're at a layer that we don't see but we can connect with and that's exactly yeah. true yeah you can you can sometimes how do people uh follow your work bo where do they where do they watch you on uh, my website is gold 2020 forecast Dot com and again the reason for 2020 is because we spoke at that one conference right yeah. got seven before seven years before that i started the website is entering seven years but again because it was four we talked about pharaoh and israel israel was in bondage for 400 years mayflower landed 400 years ago right at 20 year 2020 well our our analyst uh marty hibbs coined he trademarked a term bull shift s-h-i-f-t bull shift 2020 because 2020 was the year where a lot of this kicked off. It's when uh, COVID started and uh, yeah. 
So it's, it's 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 interesting that he did that. You know, I've got a website. You're, you're, we're now talking. You do a forecasting thing. Yeah. I do forecasting. So I'm just saying it's it's fun how we you know we put we come together and we yeah. meet and we just have a uh, you know a nice nice conversation about what we what we see happening. But it's just it's interesting how the year 2020 was a marker in time. And the one revelation that God revealed to me very clearly was the Daniel 12 verse 7 scripture where it says it'll be for time times and a half a time, which is yeah. for three and a half years. And that took us precisely from January of 2020 to the summer solstice when the text came out and then the 45 day window which is exactly where the maui uh, events went down so we're now in this next three and a half years which is expected to be exactly opposite of the prior three and a half years mm -hmm. and and what's happening is you have this three and a half years on this side and the three and a half years that are coming they're coming to a moment in time where they meet yeah <laughs> okay gold gold 2020 forecast of course the people that are watching on your site because we're going to co-release this you'll release on your site yeah. we'll release on our so for our crypto yes. our, uh, and, and, give it, and, and on your end how can my viewers find because yeah. again as much as you know i just tell you you know i've seen some of your drawings and they're fun to watch we we have our moments yes it's, you do we have a private site that is futureforecastinggroup.com futureforecastinggroup.com and we have a special that's been going on a seven day free trial so you can see our prediction we call it the event that will change the world question mark it's some um, remote viewing that we saw of what you would call biblical events on the horizon. So futureforecastinggroup.com, get the seven day free trial. You can just uh, binge watch some of the material. And if it's not for you, cancel and you don't get charged. So yeah. I'll ask, let me, let me add this as well too. <clears throat> so on, on my end, um, it's a couple of things I want to finish off with is there's two time points that are right around the corner. And I thought a lot of the urgency of this interview. It's Haggai two verse 10. And it says, on the 24th day of the ninth month, September 24th. That's in, th that's in a couple of days. Yeah. That's it's Three, it's four weekend. days. Yeah. Yeah. So the 24th is this Sunday. That's why you wanted to do this. Yeah. Uh, so on the 24th day of the ninth month, and this is a 2,000-year-old scripture, Haggai 2, verse 10, the fig tree the pomegranate tree and the olive tree have yielded nothing. In other words, what that's saying is that, if you interpret that to present day, everything that's gone on in the world, we're trying to fight evil, we're trying to do this, you know, we're, we're, taking, we're doing this court case, everything we've done has yielded nothing. So the fig tree, the pomegranate tree, the olive tree, everything we've done has technically really yielded nothing. But from this day forward, I will bless you the next day is the holiest day of the year yom kippur mm -hmm. september 25 it is technically the day of judgment it is not my time it is the biblical time that god appointed when he created everything in this world and so the most powerful and most important time point for him is yom kippur the day of judgment which will be monday of next week so that's all tight, I'm saying. Folks. Hold on tight, you know. And so uh, I, I do have my cycle charts that I've, you know, that I as well do on, on my end. Uh, any, you know, people listening, gold 2020 forecast, you want the Bitcoin update or the cryptocurrency update, just click on them and then enter the code USA49 and it drops the price from $99 down to $49. Check it out for two weeks. Get every you can basically look back two, three years of my stuff. It's all there. And you can see, you know, I don't nail everything, but accuracy rate is off the charts. And my point is, is that all of it's pointing to the time, the scriptures I just showed you, the time points are lining up with what is supposed to happen here potentially on the charts. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of fun to meet with you and, and talk with you. And it's just again. I don't know how this plays out or if if that's going to be a time because you can't know for sure unless God does that. But then the what thing was that that prophecy of Kim Clement when I showed you that said, you know, in September, I will do yeah. a thing. Yeah. So we wait and watch. But I, I think, you know, we're both on the same page that we have yep. a moment in the, time coming. We've, we're in the time of friction and the friction is uh, at some point. Yeah. It's got one it, day it's got touch. 
when they when they touch it's monumental yeah all right be safe bo say hi to your family to your lovely wife and always good to talk with you be well god bless you and your wife and all people that work with you thank you aloha so much.